the day, the last show we talk about stuff. I'm gonna probably need you to just like stretch and then take a seat because you're gonna get real mad. Boy, I'm a total loud mouth. This looks like product douchebag right here. That's exactly what it looks like. It's intended to strike fear into the hearts of Americans. That's what I feel like. That sucks. It's aimed at their primary target, which is uh, uneducated, disconnected, disaffected, usually unemployed males for the most part. This is a very dangerous time. This is a different problem. And it's very hard to stay ahead of the curve and identify and track and prevent all the various individuals out there that are existing in social media and, and may, again, turn to the dark side. We can't have this. We cannot accept this. We cannot tolerate people acting like this. We cannot bow. We cannot bow to threats of, of violence. Radical Islam is super duper serial. And they have the right to be. They have the right to be hateful. They have the right to be a bunch of cousin loving bigots. Although I would both like to see them go to, you know, just the fiery pits of hell, personally. But that's not the point. The point is the principle, and that once you start saying, well, we shouldn't allow certain kinds of speech, who, who decides? Wow, killing people over this is bad. But, uh, but, it's always we the but. hate those people that put it on. What is the difference? Put the actual Dana. Yeah. There was an Amtrak train that derailed. This was horrible. The investigation is still unfolding. And frankly, nobody knows yet what caused it. I'm going to say speed. But that hasn't stopped progressives and Democrats from across the country blaming this on. Well, who do you think? Republicans. Because, of course, right? Ugh, the media. Do you see how easy this is? It's still a funding issue. We need a giant pile of more money. You don't need to throw money at it. You need to actually change the system. This is why cities are burning down right now. The problem isn't perhaps that an engineer was going too damn fast. The problem is that he should have been able to go that fast. This is insane. The lesson the left seems to have learned is that if they can jump out in front, no matter how irresponsible their comments are, if they can jump out in front really early with some kind of narrative, no matter how false that narrative is, that will become the talking point. That will be used nationwide, people will say that forever, and right. so on. And, and we all say, hey, don't you learn your lessons? Y'all have been wrong so many times. Now I'm wondering, are they right? Should you just come out and say whatever you think right away to try to win? How awesome is that? You probably think that you got it bad, right? I give them as many finger salutes as nature allows me. One finger salutes with two hands. It's not enough to be victimized anymore. It has to be unique victimization. Now, right now, Americans still feel safe enough that no one's demanding that we send anyone to the Stone Age. But rest assured, ISIS will know when Americans have decided that their backyard is truly in danger. You have to learn that we do not bend or lose, especially bend. Seriously, right? Anyway, Mark Halpern, you're a douchebag. Your question sucked out loud, and that's pretty much all that anybody can say to you. That should be it. That should be, that should be the end of the discussion. The hope is, though, that while we all may get upset at our differing opinions and our opposing views, we can still respect each other enough to try not to shut each other down or prevent speech from being outlawed. I mean, more voices, not fewer voices, right?